Hello engineers, this is Zubair. In this video, we will see about the design of open well staircase. So this type of staircase generally used in multi-story structure and public public type of buildings. Okay, so you can see this plan of the staircase. Here we have mentioned the dimension. Okay, so width of the landing. One meter width of the flight, uh, length of the flight, one point two five meter. Okay, the supporting width is, uh, two hundred mm. Now we have assumed the data over here. Uh, you can assume the floor to floor height is three meter. Uh, here the data uh, riser is one fifty mm, thread is two fifty mm, and live load we have considered three kilo newton per meter square. Okay, three kilo newton per meter square. And M twenty grade of concrete and four on five FCK Newton per mm square. Okay, so now let's find the effective span first. Uh, you just read this: the length, the flight AB, the flight A and B, BC and CD and DC, AB, BC and CD, DA. Okay, sorry, DA are equal in length. All the flights, all the flights are equal in length. Okay, now effective span width, effective span width, the supporting width we we can say supporting beam effective span of supporting beam is two hundred mm. Okay, two hundred mm. Now supporting beam, two hundred mm. Now L is equals to L is equals to one one. You can say one. This one plus one point two five plus one point two five plus again one again one plus again one. No, half of this two hundred and half of this two hundred will be two hundred. Okay, hundred plus hundred two hundred point two. So this is the effective span of the staircase. Okay, so three point four five meter. Three point four five meter. Okay, got it. No. Now thickness of waste slab. The second step is thickness of waste slab. You can read this for simply supported slab. For simply supported slab, the span to effective depth ratio is equals to twenty, according to the S four five six. Okay, span to effective depth ratio is twenty. Since a portion of the slab landing slab is spanning both ways, the landing slab is spanning both ways, both ways. So that's why we are increasing that ratio. Uh, instead of twenty, we are taking twenty-five. We are taking what? That ratio, effective length, depth ratio. We are taking twenty. Instead of twenty, we are taking twenty-five. Okay. Hence, L by D is equals to twenty-five. Now D is equals to three four five zero means length three three point four five zero divided by two twenty-five. We'll get the effective depth one thirty-eight mm. Okay, one thirty-eight mm. Now we'll adopt the effective depth is one thirty-five mm. You can adopt this one thirty-five mm. Now overall depth we will consider. We will assume one sixty mm. One sixty mm overall depth we will assume. Okay. Now effective depth is one thirty-five mm and overall depth is one sixty mm. Okay. Now. Now load load on staircase. Okay, loads on staircase. Now we'll calculate. Uh, we have calculated the effective span. And effective depth according to the uh, ratio and according to the effective span. Now we need to calculate the loads. Now first, sulfate of slab, sulfate of slab on horizontal area, sulfate of slab on horizontal area. So this one, W is equals to W is equals to point one six means depth of the uh, overall depth of the slab into twenty five density. Okay, thickness into density into into The riser square plus thread square divided by two fifty. Uh, the you will get the W load four point six six kilo newton per meter square. Okay, four point six six kilo newton per meter square. Now sulfate of steps, sulfate of steps, point five into point five into point five into one point one five into twenty five. Point five into point one five into one into Twenty-five. You will get the what? One point eight seven kilo newton per meter square. Okay, one point eight seven kilo newton per meter square. Now the live load will be three kilo newton per meter square. 
finishes we can consider it, it's according to the material now we have assume over here 0.47 uh, and total load is 10 kilo newton per meter square the factored load is 15 kilo newton per meter square okay 15 kilo newton per meter square now now we need to calculate the landing load okay now self weight of the landing is 0.16 into 25 thickness into density now we'll get the 4 kilo newton per meter square finishes we have taken on this uh, landing is 1 kilo newton per meter square light load 3 kilo newton per meter square total load is 8 kilo newton per meter square okay now factored load is 1.5 to 8 will be 12 kilo newton per meter square okay now you, uh, we will get the the moment uh, what loading diagram over here the loading diagram over here so see this is the flight this is the flight this is the landing this is the landing on the landing we are getting 12 kilo newton per meter square on the flight we are getting 15 kilo newton per meter square and other landing we are getting 12 kilo newton per meter square this one you can assume okay this one this 12 this 15 and again this is 12 okay now now see here simply we, we are going to find the bending moment and shear force okay here we need to find the bending moment and shear force because we have span and all okay now bending moment and shear force figure shows the factored load acting on the slab uh, one one of the flight okay so here these loads we are take we have taken the factored loads okay keep it in mind these are the factor loads you can take it uh, take service loads also uh, now we have already considered the factor loads okay now ra is equals to ra is equals to 12 ra this you can see this is the a this is the a this is the b ra is equals to ra is equals to okay uh, 12 point 12 into load into load into length okay load into length load into length plus 15 into 1.25 divided by 2 plus 15 into 1.25 divided by 2 this is simply reaction finding okay you will get the 22.57 kilo newton meter 22.57 kilo newton meter okay now maximum bending moment we need to find at the mid span now 22.57 this ra 22.57 into up to mid span we are getting 1.725 here to here we are getting 1.1 plus this half of this 1.725 minus we are going anti clockwise okay minus 12 into 1.1 12 into 1.1 into 1.25 into 1.25 minus 1.1 divided by 2 now minus 15 into 1.7 2 phi minus 1.1 divided by 2 whole square okay this is simply uh, finding the maximum bending moment at mid span okay now we'll get the maximum bending moment 34.99 will will take it 35 kilo newton meter okay this is the maximum bending moment and we you this is the maximum shear force 22.57 kilo newton okay so using this vu we'll check the uh, using this what uh, uh, maximum bending moment will check the diff what uh, depth of the waste slab whether that provided depth is okay or not okay now d is equals to root mu under root mu divided by 0.138 fck into b okay 35 into 10 raised to the power 6 0.138 fck is 20 into 4 meter thousand okay so d is 11 here required depth is 112 required depth is what 112.6 this is the required depth this is what required depth okay so how much we have provided the provided depth is 135 provided depth effective depth is 135 the required is how much 112 the required is 112 we have provided 135 135 mm okay now it is hence ad adopted effective depth is okay in okay okay now the second thing is now need to find the uh, reinforcement okay main reinforcement now m we have a formula m is equals to 0.87 fy ast into d uh, 1 minus ast fy divided by b into d fck okay put the all values in the in this formula uh, 
and uh, simplify this you will get the ast value 822 mm square this is per meter this is what per meter okay now using this value you can provide uh, 12 mm uh, you can you can say 822 divided by 113 822 divided by 113 we will get the number of bars we will get the number of bars now those number of bars will divide by 1 meter divided by 1 meter you will get the spacing of the bar okay here we have get the 12 mm die off bar at 125 mm center to center okay now the distribution still is uh, this is the 0.12% of cross section area 0.12% percent of cross section area 0.0012 into 1000 into 160 this is the depth this is the per meter okay now we'll get the 200 mm square 200 mm square you can adopt the 8 mm die off bar at 250 mm center to center or 10 mm die off bar at, at 300 mm center to center okay so this is the main reinforcement and this is the distribution reinforcement okay so this is all about the uh, design of open well staircase you can what uh, you can detail this this staircase like this okay you can see here these are the main bars these are the main bars 12 mm die off bar at 125 mm center to center the green one main bar this these circles are the distribution bar 8 mm or else 10 mm 8 mm if you are taken 8 mm then keep it 250 mm center to center if you are taken 10 mm then you can keep it 300 mm center to center as per the design okay so this is all about the staircase of uh, design of open well staircase okay thank you very much